Well, welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols, and I have Brian Rose with me today. He is the Director of Community Development here in our area. Welcome to the show, and thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And we're going to primarily focus on a survey, and it's a customer survey um, service survey for the city, and we sort of, I guess, are trying to encourage all of you to take it. Is that right? That's right. We had uh, our, de our department wanting to receive some feedback regarding their customer satisfaction and uh, so we helped we got this survey developed so that we could uh, basically hear from the public on what what types of things we are doing right and what types of things we may need some work on so that's great so how long does it take to fill out this survey uh, it depends on how detailed you want to get, I guess, into your description of what things uh, you'd like to say to us, but uh, it could be as easy as five minutes and it could be just a few minutes longer than that, you know, again, depending so on how much you short. want to say. But yeah, it's a pretty short survey and helps us to kind of evaluate our, our department and our staff and figure out where we can make some adjustments. And really, well, the, the biggest question is how do we find this survey? Where, where do we find it? So if you go to the city's website and you find the Community Development Department page, we would have it as a link on there as uh, it's on the left-hand side of the page and uh, you'd be able to just click on that link and uh, up, go right to the survey. So it's pretty easy. And I guess the overall goal of the survey, I think you've already said that, but I guess we could reiterate it. There might be a bigger goal. Yeah, no, we're really just trying to make our department more effective and the, b the best way we know how to do that is to hear from the public on what the issues may be. You know, we have developers, people that walk in the door wanting a building permit, people that are doing development within our right. city that uh, go through a process of following all of our regulations and for each one of those times that someone walks in the door, they have to go through an application process or a permitting process. And, uh, you know, we want to know, did, did that go well? And we want to know, were there issues? Were there time delays? Were there uh, other things that could have been taken care of that, that didn't happen? Or, you know, how, how can we help you better, basically? So. And who create the, created the survey? So, the city has a department that helps us with getting information out to the public and that's the public information department uh, and they helped us develop it we we obviously went through and reviewed it to make sure that it had correct information in there but that was that was where it started that's so. great so how many uh, you may not even know this how many questions are on the survey uh, there's about Roughly. 10 questions, I believe. Oh, okay. So it really, it's really, really short. isn't long yeah. at all. And a lot of them are just, Are y'all you know, logging on right now? <laughs> hopefully. No, a lot of them you just click a button and uh, that's your answer. And then there's a, few, there's a few at the end just saying, you know, if you could change something, okay. what would you do? Or what did you like about it? So you have to kind of spell that out in that, that instance. But a lot of, you know, most of them are just a... Uh, you click one button and that's your answer and, and you move on to the next. So that's again, great. it's really fast and we're just looking for some basic input on what we can do to, to make ourselves better. Yeah, and ultimately what will you do with this data? Just like what you've sort of been saying, just help the department really make better choices or see what the community is really wanting. And That's right. We're, we, we can't promise that a certain change would, would happen just because you ask us to, but we are looking we're going to definitely evaluate where changes can be made and where the most appropriate changes should be made and uh, and your help in alerting us to what those issues are is, is what we need so and how long will the survey be up online before you sort of reel it in and close it down and start looking at, at the data uh, we're actually thinking that it'll just be an ongoing survey we want it okay. to be available for uh, the public to just respond and uh, give us their input. You know, we don't we don't think that you know our input right now is going to change the world, but it could be going forward. Mm -hmm. what? Well, and as the community shifts and changes and new needs come up, other things you know 
aren't as important. So I guess it, it's great that it yeah. will be up there. So. It's always good to hear feedback, you know, ongoing feedback. So I think it's, it's going to be a good thing to keep it on there. And we may tweak the, the questions here and there, you know, to try to gain a better, uh, a better set of information from people. But uh, I can foresee that it will be on there for the foreseeable future. That's great. And, um, and Brian, you're sort of relatively new to the area. That's so, right. So I'm sure, um, how long have you been here? I've been here a grand total of about two months and a week. All right. Well, so. we're, we're excited for Brian and his new yeah. energy into our community and, and his family and his got five kids. So he's definitely very interested in our overall community and making sure that every age yeah. range is represented. And, and this, so. is, this is one of the things that I, the first thing I asked my staff was, you know, what kind of problems do you see within our own department? And, uh, you know, please tell me your complaints because that's the first thing that I need to know in order to be able to start addressing things. And if I don't know what the issues are, then I can't, I can't begin to, to start working on them. And so we're just asking for you as a public to, uh, to reach out to us and, and share with us your concerns, your, your thoughts. If you think we're doing a great job, let us know that too. I mean, we'd love to hear that. You know, that's, that's those are always good part surveys. of what we're out there <laughs> hoping to hear. So. We like those results, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Well, Brian, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for watching. We'll be right back.